In the ancient world, Egypt was one of the mightiest and most powerful empires. Part of this empire was a charismatic and intelligent queen called Cleopatra. She came to the throne at the age of 18 after the death of her father Ptolemy XII in 51 BC. She was known for her patronage of the arts, and her court was home to many of the most renowned artists, writers, and scholars of the time. Cleopatra herself was a scholar and poet, and she was fluent in multiple languages, including Greek, Egyptian, and Latin. She was to rule Egypt jointly as co-regent with her 10-year-old younger brother, Ptolemy XIII, who was also her husband, something very common in Egyptian culture. However, their relationship was fraught with tension and conflict from the very beginning. Her brother's advisors, who were mostly eunuchs, however, Cleopatra was a dominant figure and desired to rule with an iron fist. Perhaps it was her own ambitions, or just the fact that her brother was too young to rule. She tried to play a major role in ruling the country. This made her clash with the nobles who constantly nagged the boy pharaoh against Cleopatra. She realized the tense situation and understood that the joint rule could not last long. It was either going to be her or her brother. In an attempt to consolidate her power, Cleopatra began to take steps to sideline her brother. She had the support of the Egyptian people, who saw her as a capable leader and were growing increasingly disenchanted with Ptolemy's advisors. However, the support of common folk meant nothing because ultimately the influential nobles and politicians had more power. They made the pharaoh dismiss Cleopatra, forcing her into exile in Alexandria, as Ptolemy declared himself the sole ruler of Egypt. In the year 48 BC, Cleopatra returned to Egypt with an army. In a series of battles, Cleopatra's forces were able to capture the city and defeat Ptolemy's army. However, Ptolemy knew that Pompey was a defeated man, and with his own battle to fight against Cleopatra, he was the one who needed help against Cleopatra. Ptolemy, now a boy of 14, had matured, and he played his political move. He knew Julius Caesar was headed to Egypt in pursuit of Pompey, and he thought if he could win the favor of Julius Caesar, Caesar could help him crush Cleopatra's rebellion. Therefore, he slayed the Roman statesman Pompey, and when Julius Caesar arrived in his court, he presented Pompey's head as a gift to Caesar. He refused to help Ptolemy against his sister, and as soon as Cleopatra found out that Julius Caesar, the great Roman military general, was here in Egypt, she reportedly disguised herself as a servant and smuggled herself into Caesar's quarters to free him. She used her charisma and political savvy to win the support of Caesar. She was exactly the kind of woman who would appeal to a man like Julius Caesar. Caesar knew that peace was important in Egypt. He sided with Cleopatra as she struck him not only as more politically mature and capable than her brother, but also because of her charm and beauty. The two grew romantically close to each other and fell in love. The relationship between Cleopatra and Caesar was therefore both political and personal. His forces helped Cleopatra's army to lay siege to Alexandria. Ptolemy was killed in battle. Cleopatra assumed full control of Egypt, and she was devastated both for her personal and political loss. Cleopatra was determined to ally herself with Rome again because she understood that Rome was a dominant power in the Mediterranean world at that time, and that an alliance with Rome would be crucial for the security and prosperity of Egypt. She feared Roman invasion in her own country and her relationship with Caesar had guaranteed that would not happen. Cleopatra famously arrived in a stunning display, sailing down the Nile on a barge decorated with gold and purple sails, with servants dressed as cupids fanning her. Antony was smitten, and the two began a passionate love affair that would last for the rest of their lives. Cleopatra used her influence over Antony to further her political goals. To get Antony's reputation was damaged when he divorced his Roman wife to marry Cleopatra. In August of 30th BC, Antony received false reports that Cleopatra had committed suicide. When Cleopatra learned of his death, she resolved to join him in the afterlife. According to legend, Cleopatra arranged for an asp, a venomous snake, to be brought to her in a basket of figs. She then allowed the snake to bite her, and she died from the poison. After her death, Cleopatra became a legend and a symbol of female power and independence.